Welcome to the Unitrends Solution video series. In this video, we will walk you through how to configure your SharePoint backups using the Unitrends backup software and the Recovery Series appliance solutions. But first, let's review a couple key items. Starting with knowing your SharePoint installation type, which can be a single server or multi-node setup. Why is that important? Based upon your installation type, will dictate how you back up SharePoint using Unitrends. This video specifically walks you through how to back up SharePoint using the Unitrends agent. But if we take the basic scenario in which SharePoint is running as a single server, the Unitrends agent is not required if it is a virtual machine within VMware or Hyper-V. You can reference those specific backup videos if that applies to you. But if SharePoint is a physical machine, or virtual machine within Zen server, or you're leveraging the multi-node setup, agents are required. Furthermore, if you're running SharePoint in the multi-node deployment model, you will want to reference the Unitrends Administrator Guide on specifics on how to properly backup SharePoint. Included with that though, the Microsoft SQL databases are encapsulated as part of the Unitrends SharePoint backup you do not have to separately perform backups of the SQL databases. And then lastly, as mentioned before, this video will walk you through how to backup SharePoint using the Unitrends agent. However, a separate SharePoint agent is not required. Once you deploy the Windows agent into your SharePoint servers, the ability to backup SharePoint exists natively. With that said, let's take a look at how to backup SharePoint. So once you have the Unitrends backup software or the recovery series appliance deployed on the network and configured, you would start by coming into jobs under create and select backup. The first step is to change in the drop down here from agent based assets and select SharePoint. Twitch will then list just your SharePoint servers that have been detected. In our instance, we have SharePoint running within a single server. So as we drill into it, we will one, see the version, and then two, see our farms that we can select for backup. If you're running SharePoint as a multi-node setup, you would set this from the primary node of your SharePoint farm. Then we wanna select next and pick our backup mode, which either can be fools only or fools with differentials. So with that, once you identify your mode, you schedule the days in the week you want the fools and differentials to run and for each, the start time. Also take note, with the recurs every option, you can have the backups run at multiple times throughout the day. That can be set at intervals of the hour or in minutes. Once you've identified your backup schedule, you select save and you are now set to run your SharePoint backups using the Unitrends backup software or the Recovery Series appliance solution. And that concludes this video on how to configure your SharePoint backups using the Unitrends backup software and the Recovery Series appliance solutions. I do encourage you to check out the remainder of the video series for more helpful information, but thank you for taking the time to learn more about Unitrends.